Hello and welcome to Metrofile. It's another episode, the first in the month of June, and that's the last of the first half of the year. Wow, how time flies. January was just like yesterday, and here we are in the month of June. Anyway, welcome to the new month, and we hope it will be very, very kind to us all. Can I hear an amen to that? All right, you've seen the sneak peek, and we, you have an idea of what we have. So quickly, let's keep it moving. And while we do that, be mindful of sensitive images. Once again, welcome to the program. I am Oge Chukwosi, Oyeludi. Okay, we begin the program right here in Lagos, where a befitting reception was held in honor of the outgoing chairman of Access Bank. That's Dr. Ajori Shadiri Awoshika. Now, this is the bank's own way of saying thank you and well done for her service to the bank, a position she took that was in 2020. Take a look. The year started off on a happy note for businesswoman and renowned pharmacist Dr. Adjorisha Dere Awoshika, who kicked off 2023 precisely in January, celebrating her 70th birthday. five months after and she has another reason to jubilate this time coming from access bank where she served as chairman of the board since 2020 the bank has organized a befitting reception in her honor as she retires meritoriously from the position She arrives to a warm welcome from the management of the bank, as well as her family members, friends and well wishes. Dr. Awoshika is an accomplished administrator with over three decades experience in public sector governance. She at various times served as the permanent secretary in the federal ministries of internal affairs, power and science and technology and other government establishments. Dr. Jorisha Awoshika is known to bring her wealth of experience to any position she finds herself, including being the chairman of Access Bank, where she also gave a good account of herself. People think God is just uh, doesn't truly exist. When you spend time with her, you will know that truly there is God. There is God. Because when you are in a problem, a problem that is beyond you, that is when you know that God has started to do his own work. As you spend your time with her and as she prays for you, even more than you are praying for your problem, you will see it dissolving, dissolving right in front of you. Dr. Awoshika is a fellow of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria and the West African Postgraduate College of Pharmacy. 
She holds a doctorate degree in pharmaceutical technology from the University of Bradford, United Kingdom. She was appointed into the board of Access Bank PLC in April 2013. Prior to her appointment as the chairman of the board, she served as the vice chairman of the board audit committee and chairman of the board credit committee. She will take notes from the beginning of the retreat till the end. She's always writing. She will be engaged from the start to the finish. The level of energy and attention that she brings to bear is second to none. Dr. Awoshika also sits on the board of Capital Express Assurance Limited, Josephine Consulting Limited, Council of University Wari, African Initiative for Governance, Med in Pharmaceuticals Limited, and International Foundation Against Infectious Diseases. Many attest to her strong religious faith, selflessness, and diligence. When she leaves public service, there is no way that Access Bank will not be the first institution to grab her in the world. You have served humanity so much. You've impacted so many lives. You have straightened, without your own knowledge at all, ma, you have straightened so many homes. She has lived an authentic life. She works according to the precepts that she believes. She believes in God and she walks that path. If I had prayed for a sister for myself, I wouldn't have gotten anyone better than her. In all she has achieved, she's ensured her home is in order, and that's according to her husband, Dr. Olubayade Awoshika. You know, uh, but you see, one thing that has remained the same is that in spite of whatever position she has attained, she had remained the same person I knew 51 years ago. You know, uh, and I think the only thing that could be the reason for this is because he had Christ in her life at the very early age. We'll take a break from the speeches as BJ Sachs brings the praise on. From there, they move on to cut the cake. Three, two, one. Congratulations. Congratulations. And to join the photo of can we have the managing director of Access Bank. Can we she can fit very well with the people at the high level, but it's the same way that she fits with those people down there. She fits very, very well. She doesn't even have, the issue of adaptation doesn't come in at all. The woman of the moment, Dr. Ajorishe Awoshika, is indeed grateful and thankful. I salute what a great, 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 great organization. We thank God for this great organization. And I know the anointing has been doubled from Elijah to Elisha. And I know my chairman, <laughs> Chairman San Soro, incoming chairman of Access Bank, has a double portion anointing on Just wait. See what you want to see. Surely see. As she moves on to other things, Dr. Ajorishi Awoshika hopes to continue to contribute her quota where necessary towards nation building. Well, all the best to her. <laughs>